All right, let's go over this video's question. A 15-year-old girl is brought to the physician because of a three-week history of excessive thirst and voiding excessive amounts of urine. She shows no signs of kidney damage, and she is not taking any medications. Physical examination shows no abnormalities. She undergoes an eight-hour water deprivation test. She is also given five units of ADH that is vasopressin subcutaneously under both conditions. She continues to produce large volumes of dilute urine. Her symptoms are most likely due to a relative lack of which of the following proteins from the apical membranes of collecting duct epithelial cells. Okay, so the answer choices are A. Aquaporin B. Epithelial sodium channel, C, sodium, potassium, ADP, ACE, or D, sodium, potassium, chloride, co-transporter, or the last one, urea transporter. You can pause, answer this question, unpause, and check the answer. Okay, so, with the information provided, it is very clear that the patient has diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus is characterized by intense thirst and polyuria, together with an inability to concentrate urine owing to lack of ADH. There are two types of diabetes insipidus, central and nephrogenic. Differentiation of the two types of diabetes insipidus can be done by administration of desmopressin a synthetic ADH analog. In central diabetes insipidus, the body will respond to desmopressin because the problem is a lack of ADH and not a problem with the receptor pathway. In this question, the patient does not respond to the ADH given. Hence, the patient does not have central diabetes insipidus but has nephrogenic diabetes insipidus the antidiuretic hormone, ADH, works by a regulation of the aquaporin channels. Aquaporins are the water channels that allow for the reabsorption of free water from the collecting ducts and the production of concentrated urine.